Okay, so I have my multimeter set up. Now, I'm not going to go over uh, how a multimeter works and everything. Um, maybe I'll make a video on that, solely on that later, on this and all the other tools, because they got an oscilloscope coming and all that good stuff. But uh, if you uh, like what you see here, I'll have a link in the description. But, so, let's see what we got. Okay, so for 9-volt batteries, the big terminal is your negative and the small terminal is your positive. And as you can see on the screen, I am pulling 9.265 volts, which sounds appropriate since this is a nine volt battery. And that's pretty much it. So I do recommend using an actual multimeter or an actual battery tester to test your batteries and not your tongue because you never know what electricity could do. But that's all I got for project one or experiment one. No, three, two, one, go. Now there's also an experiment on this where you're testing resistance, which it's really hard to do. Oh, see, as you can see, there's resistance on my skin. A little zappy going on. Basically, what that's showing is that there is a resistance on your skin. Basically, the multimeter is able to uh, determine that while against my arm, the two probes were able to transmit a signal between them, and my skin or body provided a resistance. But there was able to make it a connection. Now, if you get no resistance, uh, usually that means it's an open connection, meaning there is no connection. So now if there's a better way of explaining this, please let me know. I'm at the ground floor. I'm learning this with you guys. So let me know. So that's it for experiment one. We will go into experiment two in the next video. Stay sleepy, my friends.